Jen here from Jen Michelle Coaching, and today I wanna to talk about what my yoga class taught me about love. And I feel like there are so many beautiful metaphors to remind us of how to access our feminine energy, how to really be true to ourselves, and how to maintain being a high value woman in any difficult situation. But this is what came up to, came up for me in a yoga class a couple weeks ago, and I really thought it resonated in terms of how we can take so many of our day-to-day -day things that we do and look at them as an opportunity to practice being true to ourselves, embodying our feminine energy, and really being authentic and real with others in a way that um, we're not often taught. And so when I was in a yoga class, um, it was an early morning yoga class. And for those of you that practice, you know that your body is much tighter in the morning than it is in a four o'clock afternoon yoga class. And so when we were on our backs and I had the opportunity to just really stretch my leg out, I just noticed that my you know, other hip kept lifting, right? And that's not what was supposed to be happening. So if I wanted to maintain the integrity of the pose, I wasn't going to look as flashy and I wasn't going to look as cool. So I could only stretch the leg out a little bit in order to keep the other hip firmly planted on the ground to really maintain the integrity of the pose to truly meet myself right where I was that day. The offering was humility, self-acceptance, loving myself right where I was in that moment and letting go of any of those competitive, shooting type of urges that we all face in so many different aspects of life. And instead, just to tune into myself, to tune in what I was capable of in that moment, and to love myself for being in that moment fully. And this leads me to how we can compromise so much of what doesn't work for us in love, and we lose our center in order to get something or in order to um, have love. And instead, if we can maintain the integrity to ourselves to really commit to show up in a way where, you know, we're open, but we're not gonna, you know, compromise parts of who we are to get love. And we must stay true to ourselves. If we can carry that awareness in so many different areas of our life, this is really the essence of the feminine energy and it really is how you maintain that high value woman status that we all want to look back and feel like we handled ourselves with. And this leads me to the second thing that it taught me, which was willingness. In order to make any changes in our lives, we have to be willing, right? And so often we'll cling to what doesn't work and what we deep down know doesn't work just because we're just not willing to learn a new way. And you know this is a very subconscious pattern. And so as we become more and more aware, we can really ask ourselves, can I not do it or am I not willing to do it? Because there's a huge difference. So was I willing to you know, be in that pose knowing that the person next to me was all stretched out and it looked really just flexible and much more impressive than the space in which I was in? And can I be willing to just accept myself for where I am and just to hold that moment and um, really love and um, honor, honor myself right where I am? And so really pay attention to your level of willingness in this work and asking yourself really honestly, am I willing? And number three, if you notice you're willing, which is a beautiful thing, make a decision to be true to yourself. Make a decision just to feel the intensity, to notice the ways in which you wanna edit, cover up, or make the moment different, and instead just practice being fully in the moment. Just practice being right where you are and drop any stories or any type of add-ons that you wanna to attach to it and just be in that moment and let all of the noise just settle and be with yourself and practice honoring the woman that you are. Practice giving yourself that you're desperate for him to see without needing it from him. Practice giving that love and that attention and that security to yourself. And you will notice that as you really intentionally practice this, you will start to build a beautiful new muscle within you that will start to be reflected back to you in all areas of your life, especially with your intimate partner, because they are so sensitive to the energy and the changes in which we make within ourselves. So I hope this brief video is helpful to you. 
I would love for you to check out my programs on my site at jenmichellecoaching.com. I have several new programs on there under the Programs tab, and you can download my complimentary guide, Magnetic Sensitivity. Wishing you a beautiful day, and I'll talk with you soon.